Hello friends, in this video we will try to understand how to make a section of a window. I will first make a 3D of this window so that we can understand how a section is derived. It is important to understand its parts, things which are getting cut by the section plane and how they are depicted in the drawing. A window opening has a few parts. You have the two vertical surfaces which are termed as the jam. This is the soffit or the bottom part of the lintel and this is the top part of the sill. Lintel which takes the load of the wall above. The two vertical surfaces jam and one behind this line and then of course the sill below which there is a wall that goes up to the floor line. I will now make the section plane from where this window is getting cut so that we can derive the section of the window. This plane cuts the window in three parts. We have the top part, we have the bottom part and then of course the middle part. In the top we have the lintel which is RCC and above that we have the brick wall which will hatch as brick wall. Below we have the wall on which the window rests. And then of course the jam lines will be seen in elevation around these two. But before that we will make the plaster line which goes above the walls. So we have a 12 mm or 15 mm thick plaster which wraps around the wall below and it wraps around the wall above around the lintel. At this point we have the frame and we have another the bottom part of the frame coming here. And now from the edge of the plaster, we'll make the jam line, which is this one and this one. And then in the center, we have two crisp lines, which conceptually tell that there is a shutter there. This completes the section of window. We will again draw this section just to revise it. So these are the two lines which are the frame for the wall, the lintel above, the sill below and this is the floor line. Now we will darken those things which are getting cut in section using a thick pen. So in this case we have this wall above, we are drawing it with a thicker pen, wall below we are drawing, drawing it with thicker pen. There is a lintel above, which is an RCC lintel. We have the brick wall below, where the hatching goes down. And the hatching above shows the brick wall above the lintel. And these are the jam lines, which are shown using a thinner pen. And two crisp lines, again thinner pen, showing that there is a shutter there. Now it's important to understand that in any section, those things which are getting cut in section are the things which are closest to our eyes and therefore they are drawn with a thicker pen. And those, so for in this case, this lintel and the wall above and the wall below are drawn with a thicker pen. Depending on the types of uh, drawing or the scale, this thicker pen will still exist and these two lines of shutter and the jam lines, they are drawn using the thin lines. If I was to make a section in say 1 is to 100 also, the same hierarchy of line thickness will exist. Things getting cut in section will be shown by thicker line and 
those which are not getting cut in section will be shown as thinner lines. So this is thick. These two are thicker lines. The sill is thicker line, and the jam lines are thinner lines, and the shutter lines are thinner lines. This variation has to be kept in mind because that is where the understanding of the drawing becomes better with combination of thinner and thick lines. Now we are going to name the parts. We have 200 by 100 RCC lintel. Then we have 200 thick wall. And one more thing which is very important is that in any section, window section, don't miss the floor line which should be shown as thick because that is the reference for the heights of the sill and the lintel. So mention this also floor line that gives you the reference of the heights. This point is dealt in a different way. If it was a frame structure, you might get a plinth beam there. But that is something which we are not covering now because we have to first understand how the section of the opening is made. So this, at this point, if there is a beam, then you will not have the wall going below. And this completes the section of a window. Please keep in mind the variation in the line thicknesses.